So Bleacher Report had a mock draft, and obviously we, we've, re, we've reacted to mock drafts before. That's not anything new on this channel or this podcast. We, we did it a lot last year. Um, But this mock draft, I think a lot of you guys are going to have very strong opinions on because this mock draft had player comps. And I don't agree with, like, half of these player comps. That's why we're going to talk about it. So this comes from Bleach Report, obviously. Now, this is, like, pre-lottery because, you know, draft lotteries in a couple of weeks. We'll, we'll see whether the Pistons are picking, you know, first, second, third, fourth, or maybe fifth again. Who knows? Fifth three straight years, I swear, would just be a kick in the balls. Um, but here's the mock draft. And we're going to go through it right, real quick. If you guys are listening on the audio side, I'll, I'll read it to you with uh, just one through ten. So with the first pick, they had the Pistons selecting Alex Sar. And the pro comp that Bleacher Report has for Alex Sar is Jaron Jackson Jr. for the Memphis Grizzlies, which I tend to agree with. I, I, I think that if you look at Jaron Jackson Jr., um, that, that is a comp that um, I see a lot of people throw out there. Um, I think he's got a, a mixture of a couple different guys. I think, you know, footwork-wise, uh, I see a little bit of Joel Embiid in there. Um, you know, rim protection wise, I, I could see some Jaron Jackson Jr. in there. Um, but, you know, in this mock draft, they have the Pistons selecting him first overall. The second pick they have is Rob Dillingham from Kentucky going to the Washington Wizards. And their pro comp for Dillingham is Darius Garland, which I don't agree with that. Maybe people that watch more Kentucky basketball uh, than I did. I only got the catch a couple of games and when I watched him I didn't see Darius Garland I saw some Lou Will in there I I didn't see no Darius Garland out there that's just me though maybe I'm off base but they have comped him to Darius Garland so with Portland they had the Trailblazers selecting Zachary Roche and their pro comp was Harrison Barnes um I can see why they say Harrison Barnes. I really do. Uh, but for Zachary Roche's case, I hope that he's more than a Harrison Barnes type player because I think that's a player that a lot of you guys are very high on. Um, even though he's had such a horrendous shooting slump over you know the past couple of weeks. Like if you look at his shooting splits, you look up his stats, you know, playing over uh in the the french league over there i can't remember what, what team he exactly plays for but um you look at his stats and you watch some games at three point shot just really isn't following and we had hoop intellect on a couple of weeks ago and he said that was a concern about him you know playing over in europe that like if the shot's not falling he doesn't really have a whole lot to offer so uh for his sake i, I hope harrison barnes isn't like that that comp that he does turn into uh, the fourth pick, they had Reed Shepard, and their, their pro comp was Kirk Heinrich, which that's not a bad comp if you remember who Kirk Heinrich is. Um, he was a really good player for the Chicago Bulls. He was a role player, though. Um, I've seen some really crazy comps with Reed Shepard. I saw Steve Nash the other day by somebody, which I I don't know how you watch Reed Shepard and see Steve Nash, but um, if it's just like maybe he's a he's a shorter player and he can shoot a little bit. I guess I could see the Steve Nash comp, but Bleacher Report has Kurt Heinrich, which I mean, I see it a little bit, but for his sake, I hope he's better than a Kurt Heinrich. Uh, with the San Antonio Spurs, they had the fifth pick in this mock draft, and Bleacher Report had their pro comp Gordon Dragic, who I think it's really easy to compare a European player to another European player. Topic is really tall for his position, too. He's a very tall point guard. He's, he's probably the best point guard. Um, I guess you could debate him and uh, Dillingham, who are the best point guards in this draft. But uh, I've seen a lot of people that I've talked to, you know, off screen and, you know, just, you know, in, in our group chats that we have. I think Nikola Topic is one of the, the better point guards in this draft. In terms of, like, the Goran Dragic comp, 
I think he'll be a better player than Goran, but I can understand why Bleacher Report has Goran Dragic as a comp. Um, just because he's European, and a lot of European point guards do play the same way. So th- there's that. So with, with the sixth pick, going to the Toronto Raptors, they have Stefan Castle, which I think would be a really good fit, actually, for Toronto. And the pro comp was Anthony Black. Now, I think if you watched Anthony Black at Arkansas, and you watched Anthony Black this year for the Orlando Magic, Really good defender. So so is Stefan Castle. This is where I'll disagree with it. I think Stefan Castle is more advanced than Anthony Black coming out of college. I think Stefan Castle will be a better shooter in the NBA. I think Stefan Castle um, is just a you know consistent jump shot away from being a two-way point guard. With Anthony Black, I question it. Um not to say that he can't put it together, but I just think Stefan Castle's, you know, a little bit better coming out of the draft versus Anthony Black. That's that's why I don't really uh, agree with the comp. Now, in the, with the seventh pick in this mock draft, they have Ron Holland. And the pro comp is Cam Whitmore. I don't know how you watched any G League Ignite games and comped Ron Holland to Cam Whitmore. Cam Whitmore could shoot the basketball. Ron Holland, as of right now, can't really shoot the basketball. I think if you're talking defensively, then just a smidge. But I think Ron Holland is a better defender than Cam Whitmore. That's why I I don't I don't agree with this comp at all. I don't think Ron Holland is anywhere near on the same level as Cam Whitmore. I honestly think Ron Holland's a better defender than Cam Whitmore, and I think Cam Whitmore's a better offensive player than Ron Holland. So this comp is just kind of just in left field. Uh, with the eighth pick in this mock draft from Bleacher Report, they have Dalton Connect going to Utah. Surprise, surprise, Utah drafting another white guy, right? Um, and the, the pro comp was Wally Serbiak. Now, Dalton Connect is... I believe he's the oldest player coming out of this draft. I think he's 22 or 23, or he's going to be turning 23. So he's stayed in college for a few years. Good shooter. And I think you know what he is um, coming out of this draft. He's probably the most NBA-ready guy just to contribute day one, right? And the pro comp was Wally Zerbiak. Now, Wally Zerbiak was a good player in his day. Uh, Kicked a little bit too many people for my liking. Kicked people in the face. Um, I don't really think Dalton Connect has a mean bone in his body. I don't think he's going to be like, you know, WWE super kicking people in the face. I just don't. Um, But they do have similar play styles, so I kind of agree with that comp. Um, And we're going to move on to the ninth pick in this mock draft uh, from Bleacher Report. It's Donovan Killigan. And when I say I didn't agree with this mock draft, with these pro comps, I don't know how you watch Rudy Gobert and you watch Donovan Killigan and think they're going to be the same player. I think it's just, it's a crazy comp to comp this kid. Obviously, he's won national championships in college at UConn, but to compare him to a multiple time defensive player of the year, I just don't agree with it. I don't. I don't think they're going to be the same type of player. I think Killigan does have some rim protection skills that will translate to the next level, but I don't think he's going to be a multiple defensive player of the year like Rudy Gobert has been. I, I just don't. I could be wrong in that. Maybe I am, and I will admit if I'm wrong, but I just don't see it. Um, just just watching the whole tournament. I think he's a good player. Don't get me wrong. Um, and with the 10th pick in this Bleach Report mock draft, it's Matas Bazelis to the Atlanta Hawks. And the pro comp they had was Hidu Turkaloo. Um, Bazelis is a hard player to kind of have a, a comp because I see so many flashes of a lot of different players in his game. Though, if if he puts it all together and you know he he gets a jump shot, a consistent one, I think he will be better than Hito Turkaloo. Uh, Hito Turkaloo was a hell of a player for the Magic in his day. Uh, don't want to like say this is like Hito Turkaloo slander, it's not. I just think. Uh, Bezelis is just a really hard 
guy to comp to. I can't really think of a player off the top of my head that he reminds me of because I see a lot of different flashes in his game of a lot of different players. Um, but in this mock draft, they have him going 10. But that's just kind of my reaction of his mock draft. Like I said, mock drafts on this channel aren't new, but pro comps like that, I think the Rudy Gobert one is kind of just in left field. Uh, with Killigan and then Ron Holland and Cam Whitmore, I just did not agree with. I thought it was kind of crazy to even compare the two because they're completely two different players. Like, they don't even play the same.